Hey everybody, it's Chad Kemp, your Alabama land agent. If you're looking for a big home in Alabama with multiple garages, a man cave, bonus rooms, and four bedroom home on a very level yard and convenient to Birmingham, you're going to enjoy this video, so stay tuned. <laughs> Here are some distances to various cities in the area and out of the state to this property. You can see how this property lays. It's a very rectangled shaped property. But the moment that you pull up, you're going to notice how nice this subdivision is. This is Branch Cove. That's a little church chapel across the street. It's a four bedroom, two full baths, two half baths. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. We're always posting videos. And um, certainly we need your help in case this is not the property of your dreams. But you got a two-car side entry garage with a walk-in door. And you notice we do have a two-car detached garage with a man cave or she shed. Um, it's just a really neat piece of property that you're going to see. The back deck that you see is new. Um, the deck and the roof, all that is new for there and you're going to really like that when you see that but that's a really nice detached garage they've done some improvements on the outside one of those being that being the uh, uh the deck but also the backyard they've done a lot of landscaping got cleared a lot of trees opened it up really nice it's just very nice in the moment you walk in you're going to really see how large this home looks and feels because when you pull up you notice it's a big house but you really see it when you walk in. Really nice dining room. You got the transom above the door entry here. You got hardwood floors. It's mostly all hardwood floors downstairs. And you're going to see that in this video as we go. And uh, the only thing that's not hardwood floors is the laundry room and then the bedroom and, uh, and its bathroom that you're going to see. But we're walking down. This door in front of us goes out to the side garage. You're going to see that in a little bit later. These are some of the new updates in the house. This is the laundry room. You got tile floor, but a lot of things that they've done to this house that are new, and you just saw that just seconds ago. But really nice kitchen area. You've got granite countertops. You've got your uh, backsplash there. you got stainless steel appliances. You've got this cooktop there that which is gas it's natural gas by the way this is on a septic tank system but nice views throughout and you're going to see that in just a moment that's the pantry there to the right of the refrigerator you got your little coffee bar over there if you wanted to but awesome backyard views you can see the detached garage and that camper does fit underneath the little side carport for the for the detached garage but you can see the finishes they've done on the um, covered porch. Very nice. Then you got this breakfast bar area. And you, this is big enough here that you can have a small table if you wanted to. But if you're like most people, you're going to eat at the breakfast bar. Everybody's so busy or go eat it on the dining room table if you need more room. But you got the nice gas fireplace. You got the tile around it, which is really nice. You got the TV box there. You got a half bath over here and you got a closet to the right. And then you walk into the nice master bedroom. Very nice. You, you do have carpet, but that could be changed out. These are Those are little minor things that you could always add later down the road. Then you got a nice walk-in closet. And then we're going to walk into this master bath. Very spacious. You got the tile floors. You got double vanities. Then you've got this nice garden tub that's got the tile around it. It's got the jets there. And then you got a nice tiled shower here. And we're going to walk back out of this master bedroom and bathroom. And we're going to walk and kind of show you how spacious this, this great room really is in the foyer. I want you to look at the foyer. When, when we walk out there, look how big the foyer is. It's big enough that it can have... A couch, and you're gonna you're gonna see that in just a moment. But it's very nice, spacious. You got your closet there and the half bath. But look how wide this foyer is. Very roomy. If you like having a lot of family over, this would be an opportunity to do that. That you could still communicate with the dining room there. 
And you saw they had a couch in the foyer. You got the kitchen. It's all kind of what I would say blends in together. You got the transoms there above these uh, entry. And then we're going to look at out here and look at this deck. This is this deck was re they just they redid it about two or three years ago completely. You got this nice deck, and then the ceiling that you could saw was wood. And then they came out here and redid the backyard. Took out a lot of trees, opened it up, got the grass growing, got a pretty view of the farm back there. And beyond that farm is Highway 411. They added this fencing. And then you got this nice deck again. The new decking and covering you can see underneath. They didn't just put vinyl underneath it. They went in there and actually added, added some really nice details, put in the stained beadboard there. It looks very nice. This is at the back of the house or back of the yard. And now we're going to go upstairs. Now, upstairs, what you just saw downstairs, imagine, imagine upstairs is going to be larger because it actually goes above the garage. And we didn't even go into garage yet. So you got a lot of space there. And this is the attic space, walk-in entry. This is where the Rana hot water system is, right there. And of course, you got your um, heat pump there. Just a really unique house. It's a big house if you got a big family or if you just got a lot of friends that like to stay with you. You could put them there. You got three bedrooms, a full bath, a half bath in this bonus room. This is the smallest bedroom of all of these. And it's still a nice size little bedroom. You got a closet there. Now, this is the biggest bedroom, truly, true bedroom of any of them. It's huge, as you can tell. You got big enough, you got enough room to put a nice chair there. You could still put a king in there and have a lot of room. And then you got an entry from this bedroom into this full bath area. You can see the tile back splash there for the tub and the floor. And then you got a half bath there. So you got this really nice bedroom. Then you got this other bedroom. Then you got this half bath with hardwood floors in it with a pedestal sink. And then we walk on down, and then we have another bedroom, which this is probably the, if I would say the, this is probably the third largest bedroom. Mass, you know, the, the one we just saw, master, then that one, then, then the smallest being the first one there on the left. That's the biggest one, obviously. Then you got the other bedroom that's a little bit smaller, half bath, and this bedroom here. And then you have the bonus room that you could use for a lot of different things. Crafting room, which is what it's being used now. You could use it as another bedroom if you had to. Because you could go in there. You got a closet. So really you could really you could call this a really a five bedroom home, technically. Because you do have a closet there. So really you could say five bedrooms. And then you walk down to the garage. And this garage is probably one of the nicest garages I've seen. It's very well maintained. It's very clean, It's but it's large. They build these houses today where you really can't even get a truck in there and um, a car, much less two cars. This one, you, could, you got plenty of space to park your cars and plenty of space to walk around, plenty of sp space to work around um, the cars. You got some shelves and cabinets here already. It's just no telling what what it would cost to really rebuild this house. It, it obviously it would be more than what they're asking here. It's just a really nice home. And and by the way, if you check the notes below this video, you will see the links that will take you to the listing, which will tell you the price. So um, look for that. But we walk out here, and you got the detached garage. You got the little side carport there that you could park a trailer or you could park in the camper like they've got there. But it's two-car garage, very spacious, as you can see. Lots of room to do a lot of different things. If you have a lot of different hobbies, you got plenty of room to do that here. Again, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Always helps other people find what they're looking for too. But you go from here and you walk in. 
to the man cave or she shed or or just a place to put the kids say go go get out of the house well this could be an exercise room could be another craft room just so many things that you could do to it but it's heated and cooled lots of things that you can do with this house this won't last long if you're looking for this so if you're coming to alabama this might be the property for you it's very convenient to highway 411 you've got a nice little farm behind you that's a pretty view all these homes are kind of spread out apart they're not jammed up with each other so give us a call at the number below. We'll be happy to call, be happy to show it to you. And again, thanks for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks again.